Let's talk about the best foods that can help clean out your arteries. We're talking about a problem that involves the inside of the layer of your arteries. It's called the endothelial layer. And if there's a dysfunction with this layer, you get inflammation and you also get scar tissue, fibrosis. You also have calcium buildup and cholesterol buildup, and you can also have a clot, which is a little bit different. And one of the absolute best tests to figure out what's going on in the inside of your arteries is this right over here. It's the coronary artery calcification test or scan. Um, get it from your doctor. It's uh, pretty quick. It's not that expensive. It's way more valuable than a cholesterol test because it's measuring the amount of calcium buildup in your arteries, which is one of the best predictors or mortality from all deaths. So it's a really important test. Uh, it should be zero, but sometimes it could be 100, 200, 500, 700, even 1,000 or more. The key is if you find it's very high, you want to apply what I'm going to show you and then retest it every several months uh, and make sure it's going down. All right, starting from number one, you want to make sure that your insulin is normal. Okay, You don't want it too high. And you do that by dropping your carbs. So anything low carb would be very, very therapeutic to your arteries. So you wanna do a low carb diet, ketogenic diet, and you wanna do fasting. Okay, very, very important because that will lower insulin. Insulin will cause inflammation in, in the inside of the arteries and the artery will become thickened and you may even develop a clot. There'll be inflammation and something called AGE advanced glycated end products. That's a situation that occurs where the inside of your artery, the proteins become unusable, they're damaged. And you get this from consuming too many carbs. And you can also get it from consuming like too many um, omega-6 oils, which I'll mention in a little bit. So this would be number one. This is probably the absolute most important thing. You must handle this, or these won't really work. Number two, you want to consume foods high in vitamin K2, like NATO, which is a fermented soybean, or liver, it could be beef liver, chicken liver, eggs, definitely the yolk, grass-fed butter, grass-fed beef, sauerkraut, maybe a little bit of hard or soft cheese that has vitamin K2. But vitamin K2 is all about keeping the calcium out of the arteries. All right, number three, this is not a food, but it's a very powerful antioxidant. Tocotrienols is different than tocopherols. This is the vitamin E complex. Tocotrienols are 50 times stronger than tocopherols. Now, if you're consuming green leafy vegetables, you're gonna get a good amount of vitamin E. So you can also do that. But if you actually have damage inside your arteries, Tocotrienols would be something I would highly recommend because they're very, very powerful. They can stop the fibrosis or scar tissue from getting any worse, and it gets rid of free radical damage. All right, number four, decreasing omega-6 fatty acids. So you need to get rid of the soy oils, the corn oil, the canola, the cottonseed out of your diet, and replace that with omega-3 fatty acids. Fatty fish salmon, cod liver oil. You can do walnuts, which has a precursor to omega-3. And uh, also make sure that if you're doing meats, they're grass-fed. It has higher amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. And number five, to decrease the stiffness of the arteries, which can then lead to high blood pressure, you want to have enough potassium in the diet. Potassium keeps the arteries nice and soft. The problem is most people don't consume enough salad or vegetable to be able to have enough potassium, and they're usually low. An average American has about one and a half cups of vegetable per day, when in fact they need at least seven or more. And so that'll give you the potassium to really help your blood pressure. You can also get it in a good electrolyte powder. Now, the other thing is vitamin D. Vitamin D is very, very important in keeping your blood pressure low. It supports this dysfunction in a very big way. It can help your arteries from a lot of different angles. So vitamin D, it's almost impossible to get it from food. Uh, you can get it from fatty fish and cod liver oil, but the best way is through the sun 
or a supplement. Um, here's the thing, you need about at least 10,000 IUs of vitamin D or even more to drop blood pressure. But you'll actually see that blood pressure will come down when you take it. So the combination of potassium and vitamin D is very, very um, powerful in keeping the arteries from being too stiff. Now, there's another um, good remedy for high blood pressure, pomegranate, okay? You can get it as a supplement or consume the seeds in your salad. Uh, it has great properties to lower blood pressure. So there you have it, some foods to focus on to keep your arteries clean.